This is why MOX is the future. MOX cleans pollution from the air, sucks up carbon dioxide, regulates surface temperatures, and absorbs rainwater. But its potential has not been fully harnessed in the construction industry until now. Building facades offer so much opportunity to reintroduce biodiversity into cities. We're here at Alive Labs in London to see how they're planning to green our cities. Why moss is my first question. Why moss? Yeah, um, we find moss incredibly beautiful. Uh, it's simple, humble, um, and it charmed us. So moss is actually um, one of the oldest plant species. It's, it's classified as a bryophyte. Um, it's 450 million years old, but they perform a great function. So as architects and designers um, and as engineers, you know, we were interested in how can moss help our cities? Um, so it turns out this incredible surface area is excellent for pollution absorption. Uh, so it has a lot of cation exchange bonding sites, and that's created by the high surface area of the moss shoots. Um, and we've done some tests with the James Hutton Institute and Birmingham University, and we've shown really effective uptake of PM particulates, uh, nitrogen dioxide, ozone, um, and of course there are the huge moss peats that are able to capture a lot of CO2. As well as that, moss uh, uniquely is able to survive desiccation. So unlike other plants and other green walls, when they dry out, sadly they die. And we see that a lot across our cities. Um, moss, when it dries out, it doesn't die out. It actually goes into a state of dormancy um, and is able to um, revive when it gets its moisture or nutrients or whatever it needs. So we know these mosses are very happy living in London. Um, you know, they've been here, they've survived the industrialization period, they've put up with a lot, so they're hardy. Um, and so we're working with what's found at source and we're just designing that with intent. Moss needs a surface to attach to and Alive Labs have come up with a solution using the world's first bioreceptive concrete. So what we have here is our bioreceptive cement. Um, now this is a construction material that's used widely around the world, obviously known for its high carbon footprint um, and its negative impact on the environment. So we thought as architects and designers, how can we reinvent this? How can we change cement story? Um, and so we've developed a carbon negative, bioreceptive cementitious material. We actually discovered this ancient Amazonian recipe called Terra Preta, uh, which is a combination of charcoal, which is very similar to biochar, effectively biochar, um, terracotta, uh, we have recycled bricks here, uh, which is uh, effectively terracotta, clays, um, and bone ash. And it was a combination of these three things that was found to give them incredibly um, uh, nutritious soil. Uh, terra Preta, it's black gold. So we actually call our material Terranite, um, and it's, I suppose, a modern take on an ancient Amazonian recipe. We've developed a material that delivers to mosses everything they need, uh, from nutrients, um, to water vapour, to pH, um, and porosity is a key aspect of that. Once a live lab have created their panels, we were curious to know how long it takes for them to go from the lab to being used on walls. So once we've inoculated our panels, um, they start you know, fairly early on in their growth, um, and we keep them under controlled lighting, controlled environment, um, and they veg here for four weeks, and then we can put them vertical where they continue to veg. Essentially, we've developed a, a flat pack system that can arrive on site, um, hang on rails, and go up very easily. So we're trying to remove the pain of planting a green wall, of dealing with all the hoses. We've tried to remove the complexity out of what green walls um, have been so far and deliver a streamlined, more efficient, um, more cost-effective, low-maintenance way of delivering them. With cladding being a fire risk concern, we wanted to know how Alive Labs have ensured that their invention is fireproof. So one of the key features of our system uh, that we've designed in is this idea of cellularization. Uh, so each of these pills has been designed in a way to prevent the spread of fire. Um, so all green walls, um, uh, they contain a lot of organic matter, um, and that's one of the big challenges for the construction industry. How do we deal with the fire risk? Is that kind of why maybe some organisations have, have been pushing back against green walls because of that risk? Yeah, sadly. Obviously, post-Grenfell, um, 
you know, I mean, we've always been very sensitive around fire and construction, but that's really put a focus on it. And green walls, whilst they're beautiful and there's a huge drive for them, uh, you have obviously all the organic matter on the outside, but you have all the root mass on the inside that's hidden. Um, and sadly, 90% of the green walls dry out at some point in their life. And so at that point, it becomes extremely flammable and a, and a huge fire risk. So we've designed this system to, to tackle that challenge. Firstly, we're dealing with a stone, which is non-combustible. Um, our vegetation to concrete or substrate ratio is greatly reduced. So mosses don't have any roots, um, they're non-vascular. Um, and so if it did catch on fire, it's more like hair singeing than huge amounts of organic matter combusting. So whilst we designed it for fire, the kind of offshoot of that is we've now got this new way of painting with vegetation, um, which kind of unleashes hopefully a creative tool for architects um, to, to create patterns and geometries, hopefully bringing back ornamentation. You know, we really love ornamentation yeah. in architecture. Um, I feel like contemporary architecture kind of moved away from that. Um, and so we're really into the idea of ornamenting with greenery. Alive Labs have created a practical, easy to install solution, which we hope to see in cities around the world very soon. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.